Hi guys, you're welcome. It's another episode and it's time for us to talk some good football. And of course, we welcome you. On today's episode, we're going to be focusing on the UEFA Champions League. It is, of course, the round of 16 completed. We're into the quarterfinal state, ladies and gentlemen. Eight teams left. Who, of course, is going to win this year's UEFA Champions League? Well, my name is Babajide Oluwashon. You can catch me up on Diamond FM Sports Tracker, Mondays through to Fridays from 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm not alone, of course, on today's episode. We are going to be talking about the UEFA Champions League and the round of 16 results. And of course, the quarterfinal appearance. With me today is my brother and my colleague, Moses Amao. How you doing today, man? Yeah, very well. I'm fine. Good day, good day to you, Babaji Day. And I say good day to our listeners. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of this program today. All right. For all our viewers, by the way, don't forget that you can subscribe, follow us, and like every single thing we do on YouTube. It is, of course, at Diamond. 885 TV. I'll take that again at Diamond 885 TV. So let's talk about the result from the UEFA Champions League. Now we witness a whole lot of drama and action. Mm -hmm. But what we do know right now is that Atletico Madrid, Borussia Dortmund, Barcelona, Manchester City, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Paris Saint Germain, and Arsenal are the sides who were through to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. Let's talk about these eight teams that are through right now. Now, what are your thoughts? Are these sides deserving of having a place in the quarterfinal stage, Moses? Yeah, I, I think looking at these teams, I think all of them they deserve to be in these quarterfinals because um, uh, starting with um, the Atletico Madrid tie against Inter Milan, a lot of people tipped Inter Milan as the favorite uh, for this Champions League tie. But um, you, we saw the result yesterday. It was an hard fought victory for atletico madrid they very put everything in, uh, their efforts in to qualify and now it shows you don't underrate anyone in this competition now because when you look at the last eight teams a well-deserved teams there you can call on arsenal as well we saw the fought against um porto, porto uh, after playing a one nil uh, at the porto home coming back to emery stadium they could not uh, score this not the same arsenal they have been firing um in terms of goal scoring but i i feel when you look at this team very well all of them they, they, they look deserve to be here in this last eight which makes it interesting to see. All right. I'm waiting, excited to see the, the last eight tie, the pairing to see who will be playing against who. All right, there's some of the Arsenal fans right now who are asking for Real Madrid to be, of <laughs> course, tied with Arsenal. There's some of the Bayern Munich fans who at this point in time want to play Barcelona given their history in the UEFA Champions League. But in terms of the uh, quarterfinal draws, yeah. uh, we know, of course, it's coming up shortly. We're looking forward, of course, to what happens on that front there. Yeah. But... On the Champions League long, uh, long run, we do know right here, from right now, that the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals, the path will be laid once the draws are made in Neon in a couple of hours from now. We'll have a look at the favorite for the FA Champions League, Moses. And you cannot at this point in time, but have a look at names like Real Madrid, Manchester City, and of course, maybe you might just at this point keep in Bamenic. But if you were to make mention of Dark Horses, you have a look at Arsenal Football Club. Now, this is the first time that Arsenal will get through uh, to the quarterfinals stage in more than 13 years 14 years yes but Arsenal of course the last time they were at this particular stage yeah. of the UEFA Champions League the fans they of course believe that they don't have enough of the experience but they believe there's no other side who wants to face them at this point we're talking about Declan Rice we're talking about David Raya in goal we're having a look at I mean defenders like William Saliba Gabriel Magiaish up front you have Kai Havertz you have Gabriel Jesus so they have the quality would you pick Arsenal as one of your dark horses in terms of the favorite for this UEFA Champions League can they be another Inter Milan who will go all the way under the radar to eventually, of course, be in the finals? Who, who knows? win the UEFA Champions League for this year? Yeah, I think uh, Arsenal, when you look at the team very well, this season, um, they've surprised a lot of people. Um, yeah. Starting with, um, I think, the coach, manager, Teta, a rookie manager, mm. proving himself now yeah. that he can live up to expectation. And the last time Arsenal played in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, like yeah. you rightly said, 14 yeah. years ago. Uh -huh. uh, and I think at this, this point in time, maybe inexperience in this competition might come to play because when you look mm. at these players, maybe few of them 
uh, had the experience of playing in in the Champions League. Mm. But at the same time, determination and commitment on the pitch goes a long way. Mm. Because let's start with the goalkeeper. I, I think at the time Ateta brought in um, David Raya uh, to replace Ramsdale. I think it was justified by his performance against Porto, making that vital saves in the penalty kickout. Uh, you can talk about the defensive line, which has been good in Europe. I think Arsenal have the best defensive record in Europe. Um, Even ahead of size, like Real Madrid. Yeah, ahead of the size of Real Madrid. The number of goals they've considered <laughs> this season. Uh, less goals considered, and they've scored more goals. So yeah. I, I think these are the factors you have to put into consideration. And maybe you can say Arsenal one of the favorites, even though a lot of people are not seeing them as the favorites for this All competition. Right. Another side, of course, everyone has been talking about has to be Atletico Madrid. I mean, against all odds, as you've mentioned earlier, they were able to knock out Inter Milan, uh, all bids and penalties. And they had to, of course, do with the hard way. Now, the uh, Atletico Madrid boss, Diego Simeone, is of the opinion right now that they would keep fighting until the very end, uh, never giving up. Uh, you never really know how this Champions League will pan out. When you have a side like Atletico Madrid, when you have a side like Arsenal through to the quarterfinal stage, if you are Real Madrid, if you are Manchester City, even if you are Bayern Munich, would you have a look at these sides and say, I don't want to draw them? Yeah, I, I think they have to because um, City, we've seen City at times this season as well when they struggled yeah. uh, in some key matches as well. Yeah. So uh, when you look at Atletico Madrid, like uh -huh, you said, uh -huh. they, they've uh, dumped up Inter Milan out of this competition. So you have to be careful uh, what, for what you pray yeah. for at this point in time. Because difficult times. These, these, are, these are a team that they make things difficult for you. And when you look at the formation the coach have been using of recent, a 3-5-2 formation, teams like that, they are very hard to break at, at some point in time because you, you have three at the back back of five in the middle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They, they sit back waiting to eat you on the <laughs> counter attack uh, you saw what they did for anton griezmann back in the squad yeah, yeah i think has added something special yeah. uh, to that team so for atletico madrid as well i think teams will be careful of praying to play against them in this quarterfinal right. of this competition. All right, we cannot talk about the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals without talking and making mention of uh, sites like PSG and Borussia Dortmund. They came out of the group that you would term the group of death. And yet not many would have a look or a mention of these sites. But we do know uh, the threat they pose. No side will have Kylian Mbappe in their lineup, in their setup. And will be taken seriously. And we know, of course, how they dispatched of a real soft that let's not forget that real soft that also were impressive uh, from the group stage and uh, emanating from a group that even few thought that they had the resources to you know get past. So PSG getting past real soft that and then Borussia Dortmund at the expense of PSV. You must also make mention of them, Jiren Sancho with the record of the Champions League, mm. of course, Kylian Mbappe. You see them as a side also that you must be, you know, weary of. Or, as I think personally, these are sides that you think of and you say to yourself, I have one foot in the semi-final if you get paired against either of them. No, it doesn't work that way because for me, I, I think uh, like you rightly said, um, the likes of Borussia Dortmund, the likes of PSG uh, they were in the same group with um, AC Milan and Newcastle United which was term, uh, termed the group of third and mm. we saw what happened in that group. They were able to mm. qualify mm. and now Borussia Dortmund a lot of people might say yeah. they play against a PSV side. We yeah. know our PSV what they are doing in their league currently. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A very tough team as well, tough side. Uh, they, they, they've not been losing matches so I feel for for Borussia Dortmund, we have to give them credit for getting past um, the likes of PSV. Then the yeah. PSG as well for dumping rest of the <laughs> to make it true. So yeah. I feel the, all the teams in the last eight now, I think no one will be willing to play each other. But it is what it is. You just it have is to what play it is. against each other. That's all it. right. We're right here, of course, pumped up for that quarterfinal draw. We're looking forward to it. And you can be rest assured that once the draws are made, we will be right back to give you a preview of the quarterfinal pairing and, of course, the path that leads all the way to the finals. But before we leave on this episode, we're going to have a brief thought right now and look into a crystal ball and have a look at the sides who are going to be in that final. Given, of course, the teams that are left, off the back of my head, if you ask me, I will tell you with a little bit of faith a little bit of luck. We might just be having a possibility at this point of an Arsenal Real Madrid final. That's my own prediction. Where do you stand, Moses? Well, this way? Uh, well, I, I think that's close because, sincerely speaking, I, I, I see the way Arsenal are playing this season. Maybe I'm tipping them as well. They, maybe they might be in the final, but I, maybe I see them against. I'm um, seeing a City Arsenal final. A Man City Arsenal, Arsenal final. final. Yeah. All right. Time will tell if, of course. 
This will be the fate. It's UEFA Champions League review of the round of 16 matches. The sides, of course, who made it through to the quarterfinals and what to expect. Who are the favorite? You can, of course, drop your comment right there. It is at Diamond885TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and you can also share. Let's have fun. All right, guys, keep it locked in. Until another episode, hey, we're right here for you. I am Babajide Oluwashon. Thank you, Moses Samuel. Most welcome. Thank you.